I'm back in the van. The van. And we are on the border. On the border. Absolutely freezing. I'm going to get back in. Bear with us, bear with us. Bear with us. I'll knock that sound off. Turn it right down. Right. Oh, it's cold, man. Five degrees, but there's a little bit of a breeze. Anyway, we're on the um, the border here, heading north at the start of an epic adventure, hopefully. I've had a few problems with the van. Um, I had a, a sensor come on. You know, the engine management light, that came on, on last Tuesday, like a week ago. And I got it on the diagnostic machine, said it was um, a temperature intake manifold air intake temperature sensor or something like that anyway I got it fixed I got it I could have replaced it you know and we'll put it back on the diagnostic and it said all the faults were gone but the engine light stayed on this this light is locked into Fiat but it won't, only Fiat can turn it off it's locked in there is another bloke who can do it with a different machine, but he's, he wasn't there, so I've just got to live with that engine light and hope that that was the problem. The guy said the diagnostic machine wasn't showing any faults. So, fingers crossed there. Eh? So what we're going to do is we're going to go north. I'm going to Inverness. I've got a hotel booked tonight. That's me treat. I always do that. But then the rest of the time I'm going to be in the van, so I hope to get a wild camp in as well if I can. But I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if I'll find somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. So, we'll set off on this journey and we'll see where we end up. You want to come? You coming? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are in the hotel, in the, um, aye, the digs. It's actually the morning, you know. I've had a night out on the tiles. I'm feeling slightly rough, talking like that. See, the pub is just there. And the other pub is up, up the way. The Hootenanny, that's the way. That's where I stayed last night and got really, really, really drunk. How rough do I look? Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Right, so I'm gonna go and have some breakfast now in the spoons and then I'm gonna hit the road, Jack. So that's it from the hotel. The, um, the, the hotel Ness it's called. <laughs> right, we'll see you soon, we'll be back. Right, I'm in the van now at Golspie on the NC500 and we're going to get out and uh, just have a little look at the weather. It's not good. Uh. Oh, it's wild like. It's a bit mad. Whoa! Oh, the hell with this! <laughs> I'm literally getting blown off my feet. Oh. 
Goldsby. <laughs> That's a whole lot of nope. Why there's a storm. Storm Gerin, it's called. Gerin. It's mad, it's wild. Right, we're gonna move on to Wick. Absolutely wild out there. 68, 70 mile an hour winds, gusts, chucking it down with rain. All the roads are flooded. I've had to, I just pull into a layby here. I'm absolutely exhausted. Like I've drove, I've only drove 98 miles, but it feels like I've drove about 500 miles, and then 500 more. I could make a song out of that. It's just, it's tiring. Like driving through all that water, all the standing water. And it was coming right over the van and then it was coming on the other side of the road. All the cars were splashing. Oh my God, I tell you. Absolutely wild. I'm not even going out. I climbed through. I think I'll edit that bit out. Battery died. I climbed through the the curtains, through the cabin. Because I, I tried to open my door and it was, the wind was just pushing it shut. <laughs> I couldn't open the door. Couldn't get out. So I think it's blowing. It's coming this way, so I should be alright opening the back doors if I need to get out. But, uh, God, that was hard work, mate. So I'm uh, parked up at John O'Groats now. Tomorrow I'll go down to the, the sign if the weather's calmed down a bit. I think it's it's due to ease off a bit later on. Like It's just that storm, isn't it? The storm Gerin. Gerin. Not so much Gerin. Get out. But I, uh, it's a bit wild, let's say. Just say it's wild. Man, it's rocking this whole van. It's terrible. Right, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then put the radio back on and just chill out. I've got a long night ahead, it's only fair, it's only half past four. But I'm absolutely shattered, like, and it's dark as well. It's dark driving on them roads in the dark, it's awful. I cannot see the big massive pools of water just going straight through them. I'm glad I got them winter tyres on. There's snow and everything where I was there. Uh, where I was coming through yesterday, Dalwini and that, if, the, if there's a time lapse of this, you'll see the snow on the road. That's apparently all cut off now. It got worse. So I headed the right way, like, and heading north, it's just rain. Right, come on. Oh, it's morning, morning time. Thursday morning. And the, the weather's eased up. It's still a bit windy, like, but nothing on the scale of what it was. It caused mayhem down south that uh, storm like south of where I am anyway floods snow you name it it was so windy last night I thought the farm was gonna get blown over but it didn't so the tides up I'm looking across to Stroma and then Orkney is in the far distance been there that was a good good trip Different times, different times. So, I'm just parking up. Looking at the airbike. I'm there. There was one behind us before, but he's just gone. I want to have a cup of tea. A nice cup of tea. And then, I'm going to head off down to the, down to the sign. John O'Groats sign in the harbour. And then we're gonna move on. Not sure away. That's it. So the weather's alright for now. But it is forecasting it wild again. Here we are then. The famous sign. New York's a long drive, isn't it? Wow. 
wild here. Ooh, what do I think I'll be going doing there? Aye. Where I will be going is in that cafe there. So this is John O'Groats. She brought me sticker. See out there is absolutely wild. <laughs> no ferries today. Blimey. A bit wet going down there. Ready? Crikey. It is time to get something to eat breakfast. So let's go. North Pole. We'll go to the North Pole. 2,200 2, miles. Not that far. Feels like I'm there. Freezing. One more wave. Here we go. That's the beginning. Actually, be safer right out there than you will here, which is mad. Right, come on. What we have here is the fishing port of Harp uh, Scrabster. Scrabster. Great name that like. Visited there years ago. There's a, like a Michelin starred restaurant there. But there's a landslide so you can't get down. So I've sacked that off. Look at this. Woo! Right. Just a little stop off. I was just going to go down and have a look around, but uh, you can't get through. Just a little break. Look at the mountains. That is. Oh, we're going to find out. Oh, if I can read it. Betty Hill viewpoint. Ben Hope. Arkle, never heard of it. Foynaven, Ben Tung, the Watch Hill. They look huge. Well, that one is. Ben Kieran, uh, we're remote here, like. We're very remote. just before the Kyle of Tung you get to this place called Baki <laughs> called Baki Baki Chan get it we're going to push on now to the Kyle of Tung Tung and see what's like there
this must have been an old boathouse and then we have the rails going into the water there's the Kyle of Tongue dangerous pier tells you not to go on it and over there it's nice and calm here there must be a breakwater there look at that look at that rough sea blimey the spray coming off it it's mad oh, I love it here so peaceful and the mountains in the background with the snow on there's no wind down here there's no weather I came down a right little dodgy road <laughs> good I like it ah, I have to find out where to go next because I don't know if I've got to turn around or I can get back out that way <laughs> we are at the Golden Eagle zip line. Zip. It's a car park up there, right? And you can park there overnight. Overnight parking allowed. No tents or awnings, but if you've got a van, you can stay in that car park, which is good. That's what, that's what it should all be like. I've come here. Ooh, I've come here because last year, around about September, I had a wild camp here. A good walk on the beach. Tide's coming in now, I think. But we're here. Uh, it's me and Mark. Silver Fox. Pitched down here. And we had, we had a nice night. It was a, we had a little fire pit. A self contained fire pit so it didn't burn the ground. And we're in my tents down here. Hey, look, I'm back. <laughs> After all this time after one year one year and two months seems like a blooming lifetime ago but it wasn't and I pitched here at the wall oh god I feel I'm coming down here with all my gear we did about four journeys up and down and I pitched there and Mark was there in that little stony bit there I don't think I'm going to be pitching here. Yeah. So, I slept there. And he was there. We had the water supply. We had the, um... We had a little fire pit here. See, there's no burnt grass or anything. No traces. And that was good night. And, if I remember rightly, in the video, you could just make out the northern lights over there. We weren't high enough to catch them properly. You could just see, see the glow, the northern lights. That was a good trip, eh? Aye, good to be back. So we are parked up at Durness. Right, so I went up this smooth cave, and there's, um, there's a parking area there. With toilets but there's like about 20 camper vans in it it's mad they've all crammed into that little space there so i don't know what's going on there's another car park next to that with a laundry which is about a fiver and it's overnight it's 20 quid so i came back back this way a little bit where i was saying that i camped i'm at the top of that hill and that's free that's free overnight it's absolutely lashing down again now though unfortunately just made it for the rainer, eh? so that's all right. So, just the food I've got in here. I brought this box. I brought some coffees, plenty of coffee, keep us awake. Some of them for snacks, just had one of them. Super noodles, um, pasta, mug shots, Benskis, some washing up liquid. I've got a bowl in there, some rice. 
some rice, pot noodle, porridge, cup of soup, and uh, some more noodles. And that's what I'm gonna have later. Spaghetti sausage and some more double pasta. Double pasta! That's the box just to basically, you know, if I can't get anything anywhere, because I like I like the dine out, eh? And there's, there's an out around here. The place is like a burger van up by the cave, and he's shut, so that's that. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna chill here now. Another long night, I've got the radio on, no internet. But you know, I don't mind. I'll just sit here and chill out, I like that. There's rubbish, rubbish bins here as well. Really important that there's rubbish bins, you know. And then people won't leave rubbish, will they? Anybody watching this NC500? Like organizers or people who live along the way or take care of the route. Rubbish bins, litter bins. That's what you need, litter bins. I haven't seen that many. And then people won't leave litter. It's not rocket surgery. Nor is it brain science. Right, so that's my box of supplies anyway. That'll keep it gone if I get stuck. Which tonight, I am unfortunately stuck, but I love that. I'm looking forward to that. I've got the pan to cook that. Boosh. I might have a beer, like. Right, so well, while I'm just in the van now. It's five o'clock. It's never too early. It's six o'clock somewhere. What I'm gonna do is cook this soon and then I'll edit this video together I've got my laptop there and that'll be part one so if you've part, enjoyed part one stick around for part two because apparently the scenery gets better although there might be more rain so stick around stick around Arnie